But logic and not emotion is what sustains life. And the backbone of logic and the habit all men need to implement is decisiveness. Decisions and those of logic are what life, success, Gentlemen, power you are, are made of. of logic. You come to conclusions of validity based on established principles. I mean, is there really any other way to lay out relevant choices other than being rational? It seems pretty straightforward, but what if we made our decisions solely based on our emotions or, oh, I like that team because of their colors and cute mascot. Hell no. We like A plus B equals C. We like to be able to see it, to hold it, and to make a decision. We love the simplicity of straightforward principles. And that doesn't mean that men cannot be complex in their intellectual capacities and that we're stuck playing with Legos and eating Cheetos. It simply means men like to focus on what can be done now, outside of feelings, regardless of what Brenda said about my ass in these shorts. And we don't care about what TikTok says to do or how to live or we damn sure shouldn't. But in a feminized culture, the role of logic has been replaced with feelings. And a man with an opinion, and even one based on logic and truth, as all decisions and thoughts should be founded on, is judged as part of the oppressive patriarchal problem shit. That's a mouthful, no wonder Karen can't comprehend it. But she can kiss my ass and chew on my Legos, or at least step on one in the middle of the night. Men and their logic have been reduced and depicted as some tyrannical, hyper-privileged chauvinist. Like what? I'm just trying to make a rational decision and show up and be the best type that I can be. How is that oppressive? But logic and not emotion is what sustains life. And the backbone of logic and the habit all men need to implement is decisiveness. Decisions and those of logic are what life, success, power are made of. And making a habit of being quick and reasonable with our decisions is what life demands. Think about it. Life's a connection of decisions you choose to make or refuse to take. For example, we can get married, don't get married. Go to college, fuck college. Be a slave or choose freedom. Nachos or go work out. Our lives are completely a reflection of the choices we make or the choices we let slip away. The habit, the backbone to all successful men is making decisions and more paramount, making decisions that influence a better life and lead to more opportunities. The current culture is sunbathing in weakness, and it's spilling over into the actions and decisions or indecisiveness of men. So it's imperative we start grinding out as many decisions as we can throughout the day. When you're asked where to eat, take charge and decide. When asked a question at work, don't let Lucy Lucy decide or Bald Bob make a damn decision. Every day offers us decisions more than we are consciously aware of. And because we've made a habit of just going through the flow and letting other people decide for us, we follow the safe lit course of others' decisions instead of our own. If you want freedom, if you want to create your own damn life, start making decisions. And maybe you suck at it right now. Maybe you've been breastfeeding off life's tit for too long. God knows I've been there. But it's time for steak instead of Karen's cow milk. So stand up and quit crawling on the floor for crumbs, make a decision, and be that logical man that decides who the hell he is and who he can be. Decisions makers takes the lead, and the one in lead takes charge, and the one in charge has control. We have to ask ourselves, who's in control of our life, and it's ultimately our decision. Love and respect, gentlemen, you will hear from me next episode.